Okay guys, it's me, Dan, and today I'm going to show you my conjuration skill guide. Um, conjuration is a uh, magic, like, not thing, which means you can summon stuff. So, I'm going to quickly show you some of the spells. So, first we got, like, you can su summon swords, weapons, um... And you can also summon creatures to help you in battle, okay? And you can do things for, like Soul Trap, which can give you help with soul gems and stuff. And, uh, um, the Nemonite. Anything else, right? Nemonite. Oh, well, I can't pronounce that, but <laughs> basically you can, um, revive dead bodies to fight for you as well. Um, so... Okay, so my I have got two methods. One was found by my own researcher, Marlboro NS, and my second one was found by myself. The first one is um you need you don't ha need any requirements, but the obviously the uh, mage stone is going to help 20% faster. What you need is the bound sword spell. Now what you do is where I am here is I'm in just the middle of nowhere. Now I go here because it's got hawkers and hawkers are really slow and walks and things because they can't climb and stuff so I'm on this massive rock here and there are the enemies down there somewhere there they are see. so all I need all you need to do is just dual wield them I just quickly double tap um, the sheath just before the swords come so you'll see the sword come or sometimes if you see like that there now the only problem with this is you can't wait the hours so um, yeah so I'm master and I got the spell to do them um, for half magicka so and it's going down pretty fast but this should level it up so fast by then if I was level 20 um, I would be 30 probably by now, so it's actually really fast. Um, and I'm going to move on now to my second method, which is probably better because you don't need to be near enemies. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm back with my second part to the conjuration training video. Now, my second method was found by my researcher Marlboro NS, and he told me to try soul trapping on any living creature. Um, it does work, but the only what I found was is uh, that I had to if I used it inside a hold on, for example, a guard, I'd get bounty. So even if I didn't kill him and I just soul trapped him, I'd get like five bounty every time. So I thought of another way, and simply all you need is a horse. Now I'm gonna check out my other guide on how to get a horse which should be out very soon because I'm gonna do it straight after this one um, today so check that out because it will help you with training on a, on a lot of skills but obviously Shadow Me is gonna be the best one mainly because he stands still a lot of the other horses run away or walk around so what you need to do is simply get the Soul Trap spell which is an apprentice spell aka level 25 Use up all your soul traps. Now, Shadow Mia will probably move every time, but only by a bit, so um, it's pretty good. So, it's probably because you stand so close to him. If I back off from him when I wait now, he might not move. Yeah, there you go. It's just because I was so close to him when I was waiting. So this is all you need to do. Just um, be wary of the enemies because what can happen is Falkreath is okay, but if you train in Dawnstar, there's a 50% chance, uh, one in ten chance, sorry, of a dragon spawn every time you go there. So be really careful. I really don't like going to Dawnstar anymore because of that. It's really annoying. Um, other places that most likely get attacked are the main places are obviously Dawnstar, then Winterhold, then Falkreath. So Falkreath has a pretty big chance. If you go to the White Run stables, you'll probably be pretty safe. I don't think there's many dragon attacks there at all. 
Um, Riften has a few. Windhelm has quite a lot. If you go by here, by the farms here, there are quite a few dragon attacks there. So just be careful. Falkreath is quite risky, but it's okay because I'm not going to do it for long. But if you do it for days, like trying to master it, it you'll probably get at least one. So yeah, so just be careful of that. So probably best if you train it in white one. I just came to Falkreath because it's a different location because everyone does videos and everything's around white run mostly. So I decided to try Falkreath, you know, probably the second worst hold in the game. Personally, the worst is Morphle. It's absolutely terrible. Comment on that. If you think Morphle is the worst hold in the game, I forgot what hold name it actually is called. Um, I know Solitude is Hail March. Um, white Run is just White Run, I think. And then you've got Riften's The Reach. And then you've got Falkreath is... I don't know what Falkreath is. And Markarth is the... Oh no, Markarth is the Reach, and Riften's the Rift. That's it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so I really help. Um, think that this should train your skill up really fast. It really trained mine up fast. I did not find this method, so I did the Soul Trap... Um, didn't do the Soul Trap one, sorry. I did the Bound Sword one all the way. Um, it depends on what you want to do, to be honest. I like doing this one more. Um, mainly because you can wait the hour, so it's much faster. But if you know you want to go AFK a bit, maybe then you're probably better off doing the sword one um, because you could just stand up there and just you know just do occasional sword spells. Um, just also another thing to be careful of, guys, is if you've got a horse and you're gonna train on, you know, you wanna do it and just be careful because your horse can get you know killed just be careful because your horse if there's a dragon attack and things like that the first thing I do on a dragon attack is get my horse out of there because I know Shadowmere on an ancient dragon has got no chance so so they seem to attack the horses quite a lot so just be careful of that Okay, so please comment, rate, subscribe, you know the thing. Um, I really hope that you enjoy this video, and I hope that it gets your um, conjuration up. I'm just going to quickly do one of my favorite spells. So this is one of the best, probably the best summoning spell, if it appears. There it is. So it's a Dremor Lord. Now, a lot of people think, oh, yes, I can now kill it and get Daedra Hearts. No, you can't, because it's a summon. And also, you can't get the Daedric Armor, so... Oh, well. But he's actually really powerful. It takes four Fireballs, which is an Adept Destruction spell, to kill him. So that is quite a lot. You know, he's got 160 hit points, plus... He's probably got 165 hit points, so that's quite a lot for a summon. Um, so yeah, there are also another thing guys with summons is there actually if you don't have a horse or don't want to risk your horse you can train on these guys as well. You could probably... No, you can't, you can't soul trap them but you can do destruction magic on them and train, train on them like that. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you again.